Over the years, handlebar technology has come a long way, from basic steel to high-grade aluminum. Let's take a look at the process of engineering and manufacturing today's handlebars. Typically, producing handlebar is a lot more involved than people think when they come and visit here. Most people kind of anticipate just taking the tube out of a pack and bending it into a finished shape. The reality is there's a lot of steps along the way to make sure that it's built correctly. The handlebar is the rider's main point of contact with the motorcycle. It's how they control the bike. So any issue with the handlebar, if it was to break during use, could be catastrophic. So we go to great lengths to make sure that that basically can't happen. So you push the bar through the eddy current tester and then any internal imperfections or external imperfections are picked up by the tester itself. And basically you're looking out for a sharp spike which signifies or is very likely to be an internal defect in the material. So the drop test is an in-house developed test. The objective is the handlebar bends and not snaps. The bend test that we do is where you can then see the uniform stiffness and usable range of the handlebar. And also we'll go on and test the handlebar to failure so we can understand how much load the handlebar sees before it finally breaks. The fatigue test is similar to the airline test where wing flexes up and down for an extreme load case. So we apply uh, plus or minus 100 kilograms onto the handlebar. So it's three times a second we're applying the same load of the case in a jump time and time again onto the handlebar. So we do the tensile testing, cut a piece of material off to a set length and then pull both ends of it to extend the material to eventually where the material fails. From that, we can measure the um, yield strength and the ultimate tensile strength. And you can also see the elongation at failure, which then tells you how likely the handlebar is to bend instead of breaking 